late Archie Roach and former top cop Christopher Dawson have led the list of more than 700 Australians recognised in the Australia Day Honours for distinguished contributions to our nation. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers are advised here that the following story contains images and names of people who've died. He draws notable Australians for a living. Now Warren Brown is officially among them. It sounds bizarre, I have to say, but I, I'm, I'm not used to it yet. Also recognised as a member of the Order of Australia for his service comparing Anzac ceremonies at Gallipoli. A side passion to his iconic cartoons. The uniform sacrifice features high on the honour roll, 30 military awards, including new officer of the order, Lieutenant JJ Fruin, who spent his near 40th year in the army, accelerating Australia's vaccine rollout. It was uh, a very challenging task. Uh, there was an awful lot of uh, expectation and pressure around uh, you know, the, the rollout. People who came to prominence during the pandemic have been honoured. Respiratory professor Bruce Thompson, who advised governments and had a hand in creating a ventilator within six months, has received an AM. Everything to do with the, the lungs is, is really been my whole career. Um, and particularly interested in how do we actually can change clinical practice overall in a global sense. Controversial ABC broadcaster Dr Norman Swan, who recently had to apologise for making a link between COVID and the deaths of Shane Warne and politician Senator Kimberly Kitching, has received an AM. Western Australia's Governor Chris Dawson receives the highest honour an AC. The former police commissioner led his force to find Cleo Smith, the little girl whose abduction and recovery touched the nation. All of those efforts that were made by a, a very dedicated uh, team of people uh, came to a wonderful outcome in her rescue. The late Archie Roach has been recognised posthumously, also with the nation's highest honour and AC for service to the arts, Indigenous rights and reconciliation. I think it's a wonderful honour. I think Archie would have been really, really chuffed about it. For a number of former state parliamentarians, including Bess Price, for service to the Indigenous community. I'm honoured. It's how um, I was raised and um, I want to thank my mother and father for that because they were able to give me that education. Former New South Wales Liberal Minister Prue Goward was honoured. She's been recognised for her contribution to paid parental leave. I think that um, it's all really been part of the same story, uh, which is giving women and men more choices. White Ribbon Ambassador, former Newcastle Knight and League Players Association boss Clint Newton has been given an OAM, a Medal of the Order. Actress Claudia Carvin was also awarded an OAM for service yeah, to the so film funny. and TV industry. Being in a position where I can empower other people that I recognise as having enormous talent. So yeah, it's really exciting. I feel very blessed. Former Breakfast TV host Steve Liebman was honoured with an OAM. Actor David Wenham becomes a member of the Order of Australia. Many recipients quite honoured their work is recognised, particularly as the nation faces challenges here and abroad. The fact that this is recognition is, uh, is, is obviously a great honour for me. Foreign and strategic policy expert Peter Jennings becomes an officer of the Order. He's joined also by former New South Wales Police Commissioner Mick Fuller. Local leaders feature heavily on the list. Kivett Hatfield, recognised with an OAM for service to Scouts. Though I've done a lot of similar things through church youth groups and uh, mentoring and so forth. They'll formally receive their honours at various ceremonies around the country in coming months. Be proud because we are proud of you. Simon Love, Sky News.